Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I started Locker Gnome back in 1996 because I was a Windows software enthusiast. I've always loved software, more so than the hardware. The hardware to me has always been something that delivers software and good software experiences. I was at one point addicted to software, injected into my veins. Always loved software. That's never really changed. And I've got a long history with Windows as well. It, it's, it's, it's been both good and bad to me. And, and, and I found myself using it more at certain points in my life than at other points in my life. But I've always loved the power of software. And that's exactly why I liked Windows back in the day. Because that's where you could find most of the software. On Windows. Well, you know, here we are in the year 2021, and we're on the precipice of getting Windows 11 on our PCs. I'm using a PC right now, PC, to stream this video live on Twitch. I'm there every evening uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific. Feel free to join the community next time because we're geeking out about one thing or another. I love just chatting. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, this PC that I'm using, an Intel Nook, is going to be getting Windows 11. Maybe not immediately, because I'm a little concerned about software compatibility. So uh, the one thing that I'm waiting for in terms of Windows 11, though it's getting ready to roll out, uh, is specifically knowing my use case is not going to break anything. So I'm going to be listening to other creators, people who use OBS and certain plugins uh, for OBS to discover whether or not... Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a notification saying that... Uh, a new video just went live in my channel. I, I, I turn on notifications for my own channel. I do, because I have to. Uh, do you? You turned on notifications? Uh, you know, I want to make sure that the upgrade is going to work for me. And yes, I understand everything that Windows 11 is bringing with it, including uh, potentially, uh, uh, I, I guess, uh, a, a faster uh, access to various pieces of software on the platform. If Windows 11 works as it says it should. I haven't had a lot of experience with it, but I have had experience with Windows 11, the builds, to this point. I've got it running on an 11th gen uh, Core i7 processor here, Intel, of course, uh, on this laptop with uh, Intel integrated and discrete graphics. And it's definitely running like a champ. Uh, you can't hear the fans going right now. That's because it's re running lean, mean, clean, and cool which is good. Uh, that's something that I would hope for in a, 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 an operating system, specifically a Windows operating system. But I thought I would give you uh, my thoughts on Windows 11, initial thoughts before the world sees it, before, before the world uses it. At some point in the near future, I'll talk about things that I love specifically, things that I hate, um, and potentially even doing a Windows uh, uh, 11 review if you're interested. But here are my thoughts. I am happy that it's finally happening. I mean, I, I've, I've uh, always looked forward to new operating system revisions. I get excited for new software. I know the rest of the industry is all like, yay, new hardware. I'm like, but what about the software? Does the software run better? Does it look better? Is it better? The software. Give me, give me software. Give me, give me, give me. Uh, so I, I'm glad that Windows 11 is finally happening. I would be just as happy if they called it Windows 10 uh, and, and made other iterative uh, changes. And, and, and the thing that I think is most interesting for me about Windows 11 is not necessarily the speed improvements and certain changes that they've made, uh, you know, with the plumbing of, of Windows. Uh, but my belief is that Windows 11 is finally a step in the right direction for design. And I'm saying a step in the right direction because it's maybe, in my experience, getting close to the final build, 10% of the way that it needs to be like it's there like the foundations of a better design like a comprehensive design are there but they, they they've only done like 10 percent of what needs to be done so uh i don't want microsoft to stop with this revision i don't think they have i don't think they will we have every indication that this is just the beginning um you know the 10 percent feeling uh, the, when i say that it's it's not that Hey, what you see, the, the, the outer coating of Windows, the shell, if you will, uh, is definitely polished. It looks nice. It, it feels modern. But you, you, you don't have to dig very far to go one layer deep to see the cruft of legacy Windows. And, and, and there's a lot of that legacy Windows that they're dragging along uh, into the future. And I, I, I just need them to drag faster. I need, to, I need them to eliminate that. Uh, at, a, at a much more rapid rate, and they haven't given us an indication as to how quickly 
they will el uh, eliminate these legacy components and these legacy visuals. Uh, is this a priority? And I don't mean is Windows a priority because well, obviously we know it is. But, you know, they don't want to sacrifice compatibility. Totally understand that. But I'm begging them to just keep rapidly iterating. You know, I understand Microsoft's going to take an approach now where they just release feature updates every year. That's the way they've decided to do it at this point. That's fine. Um, I don't necessarily agree with it. I, I'll get into that point in a future video. Um, but it, it, I want to see over time, now that Windows 11 is uh, dropping, uh, you know, a complete elimination of that which Windows used to be because it's still there. I'm telling you, 10%. Like, oh, wow, okay, the, the Explorer is still kind of the Explorer. It looks different on top, but you, you go a little deeper and it's like, ah, or just a, an app, you know, even resizing certain apps. If you resize Edge, you get the white um, background, or you resize Explorer, you get the white background. If you resize, what was one of their newer apps uh, that I tried? You get a black background instead of a white background. It's like certain apps resize very well, like Calendar resizes very cleanly. Uh, there's no snags at all, and, and they—that's fine. But they've got to make that consistent. So I'm, 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 I'm grateful that they've at least made the approach and made it very clear that they aim to do this. I, I'm going to hold them to that because I'm looking to see Windows be better, not just seeing it look better, but to actually be better, to be more comprehensive with its design ethos. Um, so to me, Windows 11 is less about the speed and those improvements, to me, and it's more about the design. The design is the platform. Windows 11 is all about design. And so that's where I'm saying, like, it's good. It's, it's good that they did what they did. Uh, but I want more. I need more. I need Windows to be more for me. I'm fighting for Windows to be more. I don't want to be the one to say, oh, why is this pixel out of place? Oh, why does this keep doing this? Why is... That's for Microsoft to figure out. And I can't wait uh, for them to do, do all of it. Because when they do all of it, Windows is just going to shine. Right now, it's got a nice sheen. But Windows has an opportunity to shine. And this is something that genuinely gets me ex excited. Because you might remember, eons ago, uh, I flipped after Vista was released. I'm like, I can't I can't do this. And then Windows 8, I'm like, oh man. Uh, you know, um, Windows 10 has been okay. But you still got to deal with the legacy stuff. I feel that Windows 11 deals with legacy differently. I feel that Windows 10 makes legacy components look better than Windows 11 does. So that's why I'm pushing for them to continue and to make Windows look amazing from top to bottom, from the things that you see all the time to the things that are normally buried and, and just keep going. Keep going. You've got you've got an amazing chance for momentum because this is this, this kind of software change can really uh, re-energize uh, the entire PC experience because design is now at the forefront, and this is the kind of uh, polish uh, on the surface polish that I would want in any operating system. But I needed to go all the way down. It's one of the reasons why I use Mac OS. It's my favorite desktop OS. Uh, I, I, I see no reason for me to, to, to change my mind on that front. But if Windows keeps, Microsoft keeps doing this with Windows, it's a contender for me. But it won't be a contender until it's top to bottom. I still use Windows. Use it every single day. Using it right now to stream this live on Twitch, to record this video. I use Windows. But I'm not sure if it's going to be Windows 11 quite yet. So if you have any experiences with Windows 11, your thoughts on the matter, certainly feel free to, to share them. Uh, if you uh, are, are a creator like me, streamer, uh, if you use OBS uh, and you're having problems or you're not having problems, th this is the kind of stuff that I'm looking for because I am anxious to upgrade this particular PC that I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, I'm anxious to upgrade it to Windows 11, though I could also at the same time wait because it's, it's, it's there and I'm happy they're doing it, but I, I can't wait to see a finished product. It's finished in the sense that I would have no problem recommending that if you are a dyed-in-the-wool Windows user, if you love Windows for what it is today, and you just need to have the latest and greatest, I, I see no reason why you wouldn't want to upgrade to Windows 11 or buy a PC with Windows 11. I just happen to have a different set of criteria in terms of the design, the comprehensive design that I expect with a, uh, a an operating system that I use uh, as a, a daily driver. But as I pointed out before, I use darn near everything.